friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. And my compost is still standing. It's a miracle. It's raining out now. It's like misty rain. Not big drops, but misty rain. So we're just under the canopy of the trees. But I'll have to put you in my pocket once we get going. <sighs> it's about 8.30 in the morning. I've been up for a little while, but she just got up, so... <sighs> yeah, we're just taking care of business. Oh, Violet. I'll be back. To the canopy. Yeah, I say it's misting, but it's misting enough to be raining, not just misting, you know what I mean? So, I'm pretty wet, but at least I have this jacket on. This used to be Medea's before she left, but Violet took care of her business. And now we'll go in and have my vinegar and coffee. All right, guys, I'm here. I make my coffee. I had my vinegar already. I still can't find my GD tripod thing, but I'll just have you, well, Angelina a knife block but that's not really doing it for me you can see up my nose holes that way while it's over there eating her breakfast um i started a different book if you see my video yesterday i started a one called unorthodox i only got like 50 pages in and it's really good it's extremely dark i think one of the darkest ones i've read so far but turns out it's a duet book and the do like the second book that comes to it doesn't come out yet isn't out yet so I stopped that and I picked up a different one because when I read on Orthodox, I want to be able to read both books or I'll go insane. So I'm trying this one, Truly by Carmel Rhodes. I got this one from a book recommendation if you, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, maybe a month ago, I read a book called Untouchable by Sam Marino, I think. Anyways, it was supposed to be this huge, big, bad book, and it was. I mean, I enjoyed it. It was a good book, but the story was kind of dark and stuff, but I was expecting a lot worse, really. I mean, it's not good. Don't. I'm not excusing any of the actions in that thing. It's fiction. It's not real, but um, yeah, I read that. It was good, but they said, if you like that, try this. So that's what I'm trying. And this is like a bully romance. Her name is Truly. Hey, Bob. Hey, I just drank my cereal. Good. Good job. Not some cotton candy. No, that's Misha's. But I'm just making my coffee just a minute. I'll wait till he goes. Yeah, it's about these kids that just graduated high school. I've come to realize I don't care for books with people that are so young. It's not that I don't like them, but... It's harder to relate to them because I'm not 18. You know what I mean? I don't want to be 18. I like the age I'm at. And uh, although I miss the shenanigans I used to do, but I wouldn't switch. Switch. However, Truly and her friend Becca just graduated high school along with... Uh, Truly's boyfriend who actually dumped her at graduation. He is apparently like a hippie stoner kind of guy. Um, very nice. Her true love, she ended up moving there. I forget a couple of years before graduating because her mother passed away. So her and her father moved to this place in Atlanta, I think, to be closer to her mother's family because he didn't, the father didn't have any family. And um, so yes, Truly's boyfriend, dumps her on graduation like she's still in her tassel and gammed and she's completely heartbroken so her friend Becca <sighs> drags her along to a party and it was at the house of this Noah now Noah I should say her boyfriend that broke up with her his name was Devin Noah is Devin's half brother so they both have the same father um, and Devin and Noah hate each other. So Truly didn't want to go to this party just because she used to be with Devin. But Becca's like, no, that was Devin. That was, yeah, Devin's beef with Noah. It's not your beef. So anyways, they go. Stuff happens. Not nice stuff. But turns out this Noah is infatuated with Truly. And it goes from there. Now, Truly and Becca were planning this road trip after graduation to go across country. 
I forget where they were going to go. They were following Truly's mother's diary. She did this when she was young, like Truly. Went for a road trip with her best friend. So they wanted to do it. And um, it was all gung-ho. It was all a go. They stopped to Becca's boyfriend. His name's Ethan. Stopped to his house just as they were leaving. Turns out Becca invited the boys, Ethan and Noah. And Truly does not like Noah because of the party and stuff. She's all worked up about it. But turns out these two go along for the road trip too. And I'm only halfway through it. It's only a 300 page book, but yeah. Yeah. It's not quite as dark as Untouchable, but yeah. Um, dark romance it says, but um, yeah, it's good. I'm going to finish it. It is good. But like I said, I just, it's harder to relate to um, young people sometimes so anyways that's that's what i did because that unorthodox i really want to read it but i want to read it when the second book is available and i didn't get too far into it and i'm telling you that one i think it's by kv rose i have a couple other books of hers up in my room and i have book one and book two um i'm gonna try but i'm expecting some books today and the book I really want to read is arriving today, supposedly. There's coffee grinds in my coffee. Anyways, so I want to finish this up before my other books come so I can start on that. And that's part of that King series. So I'm so pumped for that. Um, but anyways, it's 857. While it's eating her stuff, I'm gonna have my coffee. Um, and I'll be back, but I have to say, if you've seen my past couple videos, or no, my last video, you've seen Mally would get up in the middle of the night to bake. I don't see any baked goods this morning, but that's okay, because we got leftover cookies. So, anyways, I'll be back. All right, I'm done. It's quarter to 12, and that was pretty good. I didn't mind it, just it was kind of hard in the sense that they were so young, but um, it was really neat reading a book on a road trip, because I've never read a book I don't think that involved a road trip, so traveling around and seeing different things and whatnot and stuff, but oh, just a minute. Yeah, I might as well get off my butt and do something now. I'm going to give Maze a B-A-T-H, and he's not going to be happy about it, but he needs one, so I'm going to do that. I'll put this in my room, and I'm tempted to go get another one, but I'm going to wait for my book to arrive at the door, so in the meantime, I can actually get some stuff done today. Maze, can you come here a second? Yes. All right, it's 12.30. I just dropped a whole package. It wasn't a big pack. There are some wieners in a pot for lunch for these guys. Um, it's 12.30. Maze had his back. He's all creamed up. And I took out a freezer meal. It's lasagna. Made June 9th. It's frozen solid. I'm going to put it on a pan. I'm going to take the foil off. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, spray the underside of the foil, tent it over top, and put it on, I don't know, 300. And it'll be ready by supper time. And they're going to have lasagna for supper. So, yeah, i got dishes in the dishwasher that need shifting stuff in the wash that needs moving. And, yeah. But hot dogs for lunch. All right, here's what it looks like. I might actually grate some more cheese and put it over top of it when it's almost done, just so it's freshly melted cheese, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to, like I say, spray this, tent it over top, put it on a pan, and stick it in the oven. That lasagna's in the oven. Maze has his hot dogs. He didn't want it in a bun. He just wanted them cut up, so that's fine. Misha wants hers, but she's a mustard girl. She just wants a drop of ketchup. So there they go. All right, it's only 1.34. I'm making myself a, well, not making, I already made a green drink. It has the beef, collagen peptides, um, and I'm just using up some of my green juice powder and mix it up and down the hatch. So, yeah, instead of getting snacky, I'll have one of these. 
and then I can have my big meal of the day later on when I'm hungry. But yeah, and this gives me a good little pep in my step. I'm just about to have that, but just a second ago, I came out to check to see if my parcel came, but it hasn't. But it's still raining, but it was like pouring rain, like pouring, pouring, beat, you know, like on a drum kind of rain. But now it's just straight up raining. But no, nothing but a broken skateboard. I'll go check the other door. Yeah, it says it's been out for a delivery. Come on. I'm not taking it out in the rain like that. We'll go out when it stops. It's been on the road or out for delivery since 20 to 12. Like, from about an hour away. But, I mean, they probably have oodles of stops to make. But I'll just check this other door. And then I'll sit down and have my green drink. I am going a little crazy, I have to say. Nope. I still have this door propped open from the other day, but... Nope, not yet. All right, friends. I'm just going to shred up this cheese. 50% off. It's this stretchy kind of mozzarella cheese, but I can put on top of that lasagna when it's almost done. And this way it'll be all done and I can wash the food processor that I shred it up in. All right. Stop raining for a minute. We'll go out and see if she can take care of some business. So oh, I should have put different shoes on, but... Oh, just to have a quick little pee. But, yeah, it's not cold out. Oh, I'm sleepy. I feel right sleepy, but my sister-in-law might come up for a little visit. You're not going over to the garbage bin. Come on. Come on. Oh, you need to go have a quick pee. Yeah, I'm sleepy, but I don't want to have another coffee. I had one, like this morning, and then I had that green drink. I don't need to pump my system so full of stuff, but oh, we'll see. Marquise is still working. I thought he worked at like noon, but he was gone when I got up this morning and his shirt was still in the washer because I was going to wash it and put it in the dryer when I got up. So I put it in the dryer and I go to wake him just to see because I haven't heard him. I was going to go give him a poke 1030 and he's not even here. And he only had one work shirt. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh. But I messaged him. Let me turn you around. Yeah, I messaged him. And he said he got a shirt from work. So he should have two shirts anyways, really. Come on, Violet. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, he should have two shirts anyways. Just because it makes for easier maintenance. Have to wash it every day. You know what I mean? He works at a resort, like the local big resort here, and um, yeah, you can't be wearing that day after day after day without washing it, so hopefully he gets to keep that second shirt, and we'll have two, because the one I put in the dryer today, come here, Violet, is all dry, hanging on the back of one of those dining room chair shirts, so when he gets home, he can bring it up and hang it up, so we'll be good, but that cheese is all grated. And I am still friggin' waiting on my parcel. I'm about to go insane. Just a minute, Violet. I want to check this door over here. Just a minute. Nope, not yet. Anyways, it's supposed to be here by 8 o'clock. Come on. So, fingers crossed. Well, my sister and mother-in-law just got here. It's 20 to 4. This is done. I put some of that cheese I grated. Oops, you're not seeing. This is done. So I'm just going to let it sit for, well, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 4 o'clock. They can eat it if they want it or whatever. All right, guys, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm having a wonderful visit, visit with my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, but my Amazon package just came. And I just, I'll briefly just set it on the bench in the kitchen. Oh, I'll open that after. But internally, I'm like, oh, I want to open that. So bad. But my phone's almost dead, so I'm just coming to get my um, charging cord. And it's not in here. No, nope. must be by the computer. But yeah, my books came and I am so pumped. I got butterflies in my stomach. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I love visiting though, but I'm just saying. 
<laughs> the box even has a heavy sticker on it because I of course, I've got more than one book. You know me. All right, guys, it's 17 after five. I haven't cut into that lasagna yet. Uh, yet. Maze and Misha both had the leftover of hot dogs. That's what they wanted. So Mally, I'm waiting for Mazai to get home from her friends. So I'm sure she'll have lasagna. She loves lasagna. Marquise got home from work. So Marquise and Kara are upstairs. They haven't eaten yet. My husband's sitting out at the kitchen table. I want to open my box so bad, but I want to do it with you guys. So I'll wait till he's done out there. And yeah. Oh. oh. I think I'm crashing from my excitement. Like I'm feeling tired now. But um, mm, exciting. I ordered the next book. And actually I ordered the rest of the series. That's, let's just face it. I did. I couldn't help myself. But I plan on binging that all this week. This coming week. I'm going to read the entire series. So there's... One, two, three, five books. So if I can get through those five books this week, I'll I'll be happy because yeah, I'm just excited to get into it. So, but I'll wait till he's done out there and we'll go open my box. Oh, all right, guys. It's 5:36. My husband just went for a drive into town. But here's my box. Oh, gosh, I'm excited. I'll try not to wiggle you too much. This will be the wiggly part. My chubby red pile is getting bigger and bigger and I need to stop. But I'll have lots for the summer and into the fall. So there you go. All right. This is a big one. Look at this. This is the first three books. Of the Kimora Chronicles by Cora Riley. I haven't read the this book yet. I've read part of the other Cora Riley Mafia book. This is comes after, but it's the first three books. That's why it's so big. And um, yeah, they don't have volume two out with the other three books yet. But I plan on doing all of those books. Um, but not right now because I'm doing other stuff. All right. To get these in order if I can do it. Part one. Two, three. That's not the one I want. Alright. Alright, I'll do this one. This one's Donna Grant. I've read quite a few of her books. They're up in the attic with all my other ones. Um they're like historical romances and paranormal historical kind of romances. This, I don't think I've read this one. This has three books in it. That's why it's so big. Uh, Tall, Dark, Deadly Alpha, Dark Alpha's Claim, Dark Alpha's Embrace, and Dark Alpha's Demand. Um, and when I say they're paranormal, there's like fae and as fae-like people, and yeah, fae people, I guess. I forget. I don't know for sure, but that one. I do like myself some paranormal romance. I do. Um, Cressley Cole, J.R. Ward, all those. Gina Showalter, Laura Donner, Laura Adrian, a whole bunch of them, but I got that. It was a good deal. I forget now how much it was, but these are the ones that I have been waiting for. One is book one and one is book two. Which one is which? I think it's this one is book one. But those books I read um, a few days ago, one was King and one was Tyrant. I think I told you in this video, maybe not. There's other characters in those books and I got the rest of the series. So the first book was with King and Doe. The second book was King and Doe, like it's a duet. Those two books have to do with that couple. This, these two books have to do with another character that was in those books, but wasn't the main character. This is Bear. So Bear was uh, the heir to the throne of the motorcycle club. Um, like his father was, but he was going to be the one to take over. But it ended, you know, kind of twisted. So 
this is going to be his two books with whoever the female person is in it. And these are not for the light of heart. They are a roller coaster of emotion. At least the first two books are. I'm assuming these are. And, um, yeah, very dark, but very good. There's a whole world with this. So I'm going to devour probably one of these books tonight if I can stay awake. If not, by tomorrow for sure. So those two are my next reads ASAP. Now, these three books are in that series too, Preppy. He was in book one and two, uh, and he, oh my God, he is quite the character. If you see my little blurb about the King book, he is Whackers Crackers, but he's so funny and loving, but crazy and dangerous, and he has three books. So, yeah, those come after Bear's books, and then that's the end of the series as far as I know. And after these two books, I'm going to read those three books. And yeah, I am so excited. So excited. I haven't had a series hit me so fantastical as this TM Fraser one. At least the first two books that I delved right in and bought the whole series. Because, oh my goodness, those first two books. I love them. Love them. So reviews are good for these two. But um, yeah. I'll let you guys know. Now, one more book I got. I got Run, Posey, Run. And I don't think I've read anything by Kate C. Wells. This is a mafia book. Apparently, he's like the money man in the mafia. He has, uh, I guess he's a sociopath or a psychopath or something, but he apparently gets a photo or a video of his current girlfriend, but the timestamp on the video or photo or something was altered to make it seem like it was recent, but apparently this happened years ago, but he doesn't believe her and kicks her to the curb. So she runs. Um, but since he's not the head honcho of the mafia, he's just the money man, the head honcho apparently, that's not gonna fly with him. So he needs to go to try to kidnap her back before the head honcho gets her or something like that, but he just refused to believe her that this was, that's my understanding. This was the review kind of thing, suggestion. So that one, that'll be just like, oh, just a random one. I don't know if this is in a series. I don't think it is. Posey and Daria. Dario? Yeah. But, oh, that's it. That's it. Exciting. So I'll keep you posted. Yeah, I am just really tired today, but I am kind of fasting a bit today, so I think that's why, but that's all right. I do this once in a while to really kickstart my health journey, and I gotta take it easy today, so that's what I'm doing. Anyways, just waiting for Masai to get home, and um, I think it's, I gotta see. Yeah, I think this is the first one, so I'll put this in the thing, but isn't he a sexy beast? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to put this box up in my room. Uh, I haven't started the dishwasher yet because there's still a couple scraggle dishes out there. And, yeah, still haven't even cut into that friggin' lasagna. Any other day, they're hounding for food. I mean, they've been snacking all day. They're hounding. Like, there's an unending hunger. But it's darn near 6 o'clock, and they haven't come sniffing around. So, whatever. There'll probably be lasagna left over for tomorrow's lunch, but that's okay with me. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, guys, it's 6.05. I just stuffed that lasagna back in the oven to keep warm. I didn't have it on, but it's still still hot. And it smells good. And was I back? Misha, shut that cupboard, please. I told you. So I asked Mazar if she wants some lasagna. She said yes, not a big bunch though, because I guess her her friend stopped for cheesecake and ice cream or something around three o'clock, so she's not overly hungry. So, 
that corner is kind of hard just on the top, so I'll cut around that. So this is the first piece out of this friggin' lasagna. I shouldn't have did it today because nobody seems to want it right now, but. Perfect. Marquise and Kara haven't been down so much yet, though. But. There we go. Mmm. Little piece. And, yeah, that'll be that. So, I'll bring it up close so you can look at it. So, yeah, the cheese melted on top. And there it is. All right. It's worst day for a uh, freezer meal, Mally. She got some money because she sold a couple of her paintings. So, she wants Taco Cat downtown. It's like a little taco joint down here. So, I'm just waiting for Marquise and Kara to get back from the store. Because my husband's gone with the car. And then I'll go down and pick up her taco cat. But I'm just about to dig into this book. And I just want to get that done and over with before, before I do that. But I did unload my phone up until now. And um, yeah, so we're good with that. So anyways, I'll get a grocery haul if my husband gets groceries in town. I'm assuming he will. It's not a time. He always stops to the grocery store. And I'll go get her stuff, and then we'll wrap it up so we can start fresh tomorrow. But I'm going to have a shower after and get some comfy clothes on and hunker into this book until I fall asleep because I can feel it. Anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> Cat. Ah, there's the legion. Every small town in Canada has a legion, I believe. You got stuff. But that's Taco Cat right there. It's a hostel, too. But, oh, isn't it beautiful, beautiful? Up on stilts. These buildings are all up on stilts. Yeah, authentic Mexican. Now I got three pork tacos and a half nachos. They're not very big tacos, they're just little things. I'll just show you what Mally got. She got half nachos and there's some sour cream and salsa. And she got three pork tacos mm. and she got the guacamole and mango salsa on the side. So that's what all these little things are. So, and she got a Dr. Peppa. Dr. Peppa. 
Oh, my husband just got home. He got some all dressed chips, some sea salt, malt vinegar, kettle cooked chips, some Miracle Whip, some butter, and a steak. $16.99. Alright guys, it's 7 o'clock, so I'm going to end this video now so I can get it edited and uploaded and start fresh again tomorrow. So, Mom, what? I actually left my whole uh, pizza bites at the van for the whole time. Hours. Did Violet eat them? No, I was there for two hours. Okay, well bring them down I'll heat them up again. Don't let her get them. Yeah, they got cold. Great. Yeah. Anyways, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, I don't know what tomorrow will be like, but it'll be like something. We'll see. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Okay, bring them down. <laughs> oh, just a minute. Alright guys, so with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Boink!